action. So, as most of you guys know, I did a bow giveaway with my Triax, and I feel like a lot of people were concerned that I was just not getting a new bow, but I did. Um, so we got the Matthews Prima, and I am pretty stoked. We're gonna set it up today. I'm gonna have Chris do most of it because my experience with setting everything up is limited. So that's kind of something I wanna learn more about, and so he's gonna kinda walk us through it and gonna show you all the details, all the stuff I'm putting on it this year, and I'm pretty excited about it, so let's go. All right, so really quick, I'll talk a little bit more as we're like setting it up, but this is just kind of the basics of what I'm gonna be putting on the bow this year. Um, I'm gonna run the same site as last year, which is the Spot Hog Grinder. It's a fixed five pin site. And uh, I don't know, I really like it. A lot of people ask me why I use a five pin site and really it's just because I don't wanna have to mess with moving parts. And uh, I practice out to like 60 yards when I'm at home. So I like to have that distance. Um, and then we've got the new Ultra View Be Real Grip. Little plug there for the Matthews, and uh, yeah, you want to say anything about that? Or? Nope. No. No comment. Okay. So uh, I I just went with black, just matching kind of everything's kind of green if you can't tell. Then we got the B reel. What is it? Six inches? Uh, seven. Seven inch stabilizer. I shrewd. Comfort kiss, kisser button. I don't even know what brand this is. I don't even is. know what brand that is. Pine Ridge aluminum peep sight in green. What's the like size? Is there a size? Oh, it's a uh, quarter. Okay. And then for arrows, which I'm gonna do a separate video just talking about arrows, but we've got the Easton Axis, five millimeter, 500 spine, four fletch, AEE hybrids. All this stuff came from Corbin, Corbin's Archery, so go check him out as well. Do you want to integrate? It's a little different. What's it's like, the it goes on the rail system. Instead of having all that on it. Let's do that. I don't care, personally. <sighs> Buddy. <laughs> do you want me to talk this to the camera? This video's gonna take twice as long just because Chris drops everything. Hey. <laughs> I don't want any comments about the hat. All right, so I guess we're gonna do the Matthews, Matthews? Matthews QAD, QAD. integrate. I mean, it's fine. There's really no Integrated difference ultra -wrist. other than it's just a little slicker. A little slicker. Um, and we gotta put it in the press to make sure we have our spot saved in the string. It's not making a noise anymore. That's good. <laughs> Any minute now. <laughs> Tiny ball. JK, I was I think I had my 36 in here last. So, <clears throat> so Prima, it's what is it, 31? Prima is I think 30. 30 ATA. Super light though. Ooh, which I'm used to the 28 with the Triax, so that's going to be a little bit different, but. But I think it's technically um, lighter. The bow itself is a lot lighter. Yeah. <laughs> Negatory. Can you grab a. Darn. Scissors? Oh, there's a razor blight in the uh, top part. A what? A razor blight. Where? <laughs> um. Right. Oh, right here? Yeah. <clears throat> here, cut me. Cut you? Okay. We're just saving the part in the string that's centered because she has a center, or a solid color string and you can't get that center part. All right, so this 
comes apart. Then all you have to do Loosen that and take that off. That's the part that like clamps onto the bow. Why can't I loosen it? Because it's tight. Oh, it's pretty tight. Yup. Now see that. See that tiny, tiny one. Loosen that a good bit, but don't take it off. Okay. All right, now come over here. Mitch, you can probably see this better from over here too. See that little line right there at the Pittsburgh burger? Mm -hmm. You're gonna line that up with the line there. And you're gonna clamp it on. Yep. The little arrow? Yep. Oh. So you might have to loosen it more if it doesn't clamp on. Oh yeah, okay, I see now. So it's literally a little clamp piece for anyone that can't really tell. Get it like right on. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, there. Perfect. Just get that kind of snug, and then the other one yeah, like, like really suits it down. I don't know what we're doing next, so. Yeah, go ahead. We should set the rest in the correct spot, left and right ways. So we'll give her an eyeball. Oh, buddy. What? Lining the string up with everything center in the bow, like center riser, center grip. And can you see how the arrow just shanks way left? Oh, yeah. I think it looks like it's like. Oh! <laughs> what are you looking at? You just said line everything up. I think the tail end looks like it's this way. Yeah, look at the field tip. Where's the field tip at? With this. Right there. Okay, I do see it now. I was this. down here, could not see it. <laughs> yes, it's going to the left. It's shaking way to the left. Okay, yeah. So what we're gonna do, we are going to loosen this. And now clicky click it until you think it's good. <laughs> I literally can't tell if it's in line. You're pretty close. So you kind of like keep your head in the same spot and look up and down. No, I can't do that when I'm trying to like balance. <laughs> up and down. Just do it because I can't tell. And our up and down should be money because we put that at zero. You feel? It's close. I don't know if I got you it feel? exactly. Okay, now, um... Full press. We'll put this in. And then we will put your peep into. Which Matthew sends this little piece of string, standard, to divide it. it sits just like that. And we'll have to draw it back quite a bit and figure out where exactly it fits on you.
most important thing is you just keep it in those grooves. Do you so, know how to tie it so it doesn't twist? That's not in the tying, that's just in the setting it up process. Like, like putting twist in here after you tie it. You feel? No, I thought there was a way that you could tie like yeah, a little we'll, knot in it to keep it from mm -hmm. doing that. We'll do that. Because I hate that. Do you want to learn how to do this right now? You want it yellow? Black. Black? Doesn't go I know, I just was trying to convince <laughs> you to do it all. Okie dokie, this is actually super easy. If you've graduated elementary school, you should be able to do this because we're using basic knots. I'll do the bottom when you do the no, top one. Sure. How's that sound? I didn't learn knots in elementary school. Uh, well, I don't know what elementary school you went to. So you just do, that was a basic knot. Tighten it down, it's gonna loosen, don't worry. And you wanna do your knots exactly the same all the way around. So I'm doing my right hand under and then back through, just a normal knot. And you're gonna set it on the side, like on the side of it. You're like stacking them. Then you tighten it back down, back down. And then you're gonna do this the same. Just slide it right next to it. Get a good snug. On the bottom half? What's that? Like on the bottom side? Yeah, you just keep stacking them is all you're doing. You slide it right in. There's like multiple ways to do this, but this is how I do it. And you slide it in. So you do the last one standard, and then you do what's called a square knot. So if I were to go this way, you're just gonna go the opposite way, and it like cinches down. And you always do it on the back side so you don't see the knot. And then typically you probably will shave it, like we'll shave yours, but I always just cut it with the fire. Then you just careful not to burn your strings. And that's it. See how clean that looks? So clean, looks like a pro did it. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna do the top one. Right there. I would slide it all the way up so it's equal distance on both. Yep. Exciting stuff here, <laughs> let me tell ya. <laughs> You're gonna have fun chopping all this up. I know. Money. That green looks good. It matches. Yep. Okay, so now. Shoo. Then we're gonna clip that on and then put that on the arrow. What do you do? Oh, pull you it? You kind of pull down on it. <laughs> Does it matter where? Nope, not really. Just make sure it's like straight. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your finger here, and then you're gonna rotate the bow until this is level. All right, so now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull the rest in its upward position, and then look to see the arrow going straight through the burger button, the little thread hole right here. See that it's what like going, hole? the thread hole right here. Oh, okay. That's called the burger button. So then you look at the level on the arrow and you wanna get it level. So we're gonna mark our spot Perfect. Let me take everything off now. This is so weird. I know. <laughs> Works though. All right, so now we're gonna flip it back around. 
And we're gonna tie a little bottom piece. So we're gonna tie, uh, see how there's like that little green piece right there? Mm. You tie that so that the knot doesn't pinch on the D-loop. Right. So we're gonna tie that little piece right now. So I mark where it's gonna go. And all you do is just like this, but we just do one, I'm doing it. Two. Three. Ooh. Do you see how much throw off like that? Oh yeah, bird's string. All right, restart. I would be that guy. Okay, so now what you do, put this back all the way up against it. Yellow or black? <laughs> Yellow it is. <laughs> Just kidding. And we- He's trying really hard to like, be real my bow out. Trying to convert I'm her. trying really hard to avoid it. <laughs> She had to go with green out of all colors. All right, and cut this, potentially. Where's that riser blight? Cut me. Oh, you almost just sliced my wrist open. You said cut Slow you. motion replay. <laughs> oh, you almost just sliced. Okay, so what you do, it's super easy. Do you lay it on top of you first? Yeah, but then you do the opposite on the top. Yep. I know that much. You know that? Dope. So then you little butterfly it, you make a little flower, you make a little flower. And then uh where'd my burning device go? Right there. And you're not you don't wanna like light this on fire ridiculously hot because it makes the material weak. You kind of just want to melt it. Let it cool for a second. One, and then just kind of feed it in there. Oh, that was hot, so. Let it cool, and then I'm gonna <laughs> let it cool for another let it cool. <laughs> second longer. Just get that kind of lamely tight. And then in, 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 around. Shabam. You want to do it about like small like that because when you expand it, it goes way bigger. Yeah, don't give me a giant D loop. You don't want a giant D loop? Mm -mm. Okay, noted. Do a little smaller then. Then, where's that rise of light? Why did you say that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> It was like a meme once or something. I'm gonna cut it. Slice your strings off. Let it rest for about two seconds. One, two. You don't want to leave a little bit of a gap in there, just a touch, because you're not, you don't want it pinched. So we'll do that. Can you go in the drawer and get the yellow, or the orange handled weird looking pliers? Yep. You take your tool. Jeez, gotta use some needles first. Check our knock fit. A little bit of slop. Is it glued on? Yep. Okay, I can feel the glue. I hear it too. 
I don't know if I can get it. I can start. Sometimes it's easiest to go. You gotta take all that off though. Yep. Just uh, one moment here. It's actually a really efficient way to do that. Normally I just go randomly at it. Okay. Do you need glue for yours? Nope. You just slide her right in, throat first, up, connection. No, look how sick that looks. <laughs> All right, so we gotta get your peep in the correct heightness. So grab an arrow, come over here. So just draw back once normal, and then we'll draw back again with your eyes closed. Don't shoot. <laughs> Why can't I pull that back? Oh, that is definitely not. Your drawing. Too long. Maybe he didn't set this. All right, let down. One thing, we haven't changed the poundage yet, so poundage is like probably 50 pounds. We're used what, to pulling 47. What else is in that bag that he sent? So it's pretty obvious, I'm sure, that it's another day. Uh, we had a little issue where I did not have the correct mods, so we could not go any further. Um, but I had Corbin express some mods over and he sent three different kinds. I'm pretty sure my draw length is 25 inches, but we're gonna mess around with that and see. So hopefully we're good to go this time. And actually he sent me another sight. So I left the spot hog on the sight or on the bow that I gave away. And this one is the Excel archery. It's a four pin. Don't really know anything about these, but we're gonna give her a go. So yeah, that's the update. So we're gonna first do the mods and draw a length, right? Okay. All right, real exciting stuff here. So we're just gonna switch these out. The current one that's in is a C, and I'm putting an F in. An F should be 25 inches. Why can't I get this? That one. A draw oh, that comes out? Yeah, oh, okay. Man, these are tight. Okay. Hold. New. So this is the 80% lot off. I actually have done this before on my old bow. Okay, mods are in. That's what we're working with. Uh, I don't know which holes to use. Um, like the second? Yeah. I think that's what I had on my You could probably just run it in the middle. Yeah. It's kind we of always go for the looks. Well, <laughs> you do. That's why I picked you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's why you picked me. Right. Like middle, middle, or the little middle, tiny middle. ones? Not the little tiny ones are for the um, quiver. Oh, really? Quiver bracket, yeah. If you don't have a Matthews one. Ah. Well, good thing I do. Am I putting this on right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's always a debate, like if you leave your quiver on or not. Most people don't, but I do because I'm typically by myself and I don't like juggling 15 things and that's just one less thing I have to worry about taking off and 
finding a spot for or whatever. So I just shoot with it on, practice with it on. So it's kind of personal preference, I guess, but. Okay. Gotta represent. Represent. He wants me to be real my bow out. And I she won't to. get a bl she won't get a black one with yellow that. strings, but she'll at least rock the state line. Is it supposed to be crooked? The logo? Yeah, it's just kind of is what it is. Okay. <laughs> this makes me nervous. Yeah, I know. <laughs> You think that's close? Probably. I don't know. Let's draw back and you have you draw back. I just and know it was like down. probably that much too high when I. It's way too light. Um, very very close. Like. real quick <laughs> we're gonna put a different peep site in because this one's a touch too big um, basically you want to line it up with the housing of your site usually there's a ring of some sort and this one it's too big like I can see the whole site so this one's a quarter which is pretty standard this is a little smaller housing though yeah. this is a Three sixteenths? Three sixteenths or thirteen or... Well three sixteenths is a sixteenth. Oh yeah, three sixteenths. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Side, you won't get that so let's do it again this time like draw back and then close your eyes and then anchor and then open your eyes at your side Oh, 
All right, pull back. I'm just gonna give you a little mark. Okay. Good? Well, it ain't coming off at least. All right, so my line is right there. I'm used to doing it like the redneck way. Alright, so I like the opening of the kisser to be to the opposite side of my mouth. Okay, so our shot out of the new setup, so here goes nothing. low so the arrow is knock low so the rest is too high so we're gonna bring the rest down a little bit we're so close closer oh, it's so hard to tell with the four fledge it ripped just like that low right now it's, it's like still right a little there. low right no. It's closer, I think. Hmm? Did you see how we switched up the ground? Probably take another step back so we can see a little bit more handy. We switched the paper out. <laughs> nice. Was that good? That's good. Um, the reason being is uh, Chris can't see the fletching holes. <laughs> Hey, this is not on me. He's blind. The paper we're using is a little thick. It works good for three fletch, but a four <laughs> fletch, it's not as sensitive. So we put a thinner paper on. Okay. Yeah, so see, we're way lower, right? Yeah. You can see the impact way better, though. Yeah. Also, I'm probably punching the crap out of the trigger. But Ooh. we're in Mitch's release, and it's too big. Money. Okay, so that concludes the new bow build. Pretty exciting, I learned some stuff. Thanks to Chris for helping me. He knows what he's doing and I sort of do, but not enough. Um, so I lowered my poundage this year and the main reason being I am aware that I have a lot of form issues. I was never really taught the right, proper, everything with that. So. I lowered my poundage to work on that first and I'm gonna work back up. Um, so that's why we lowered that. Um, but everything else is pretty much just, I don't know, just new bow, new year, new me. Just kidding, not really. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm super excited to use this this year. Just gonna have to get out, start practicing. I'm gonna have a lot of more videos coming out soon. We're gonna do some broadhead tuning and um, just shooting in the yard now. We got a bunch of new targets, which is Super exciting too, so. Hey, I didn't say you shoot at him. I'm gonna shoot at him. <laughs>
So thanks for watching and uh, yeah, a lot more coming.